Damien the X. Hello everyone, we are going to discuss a bit of kinematics and more so forward and inverse kinematics in robotics. So firstly, what is kinematics? We can consider kinematics as the study of motion of a body or bodies without considering the forces or mass affecting that motion. And in robotics, there are two important aspects of kinematics, and let's touch on those. So we have forward kinematics. So given the joint angles, where is the robot's end effector? In other words, forward kinematics is getting the position of the end effector from known angles of all joints. And let's touch a bit on inverse kinematics. So given the pose of the robot's end effector, what are the joint angles required? In other words, Inverse kinematics is getting all joint angles from known end effector position. Now, we'll use MATLAB along with SOLIDWORKS to demonstrate both forward and inverse kinematics. So here is our six axis robot arm that we are going to use to demonstrate both inverse and forward kinematics. We've already created our motion study, so what we'll do, we'll input the necessary angles and data generated from a program, a bunch of programs that we wrote using MATLAB programming. This is our program that we've written using MATLAB. And as you can see here, these are the link lengths that we've taken from SOLIDWORKS. We'll use an input function to input all our angles. And this is the transformation matrices for each joint angle. And we'll use these to get the position of the end effector. Remember, we don't know where the end effector is going to go, but we know the angles that we want to input. And this is forward kinematics. So let's go ahead and run our program. Now it asks us for our first angle. So we'll go ahead and input all angles. So it will be six angles. We'll use 15 degrees for all. And once those amp angles are inserted it generates for us the final point which is the the end effector or tooltip where, where it's going to be so this is the x this is the y and this is the z now we'll use solidworks to demonstrate if this is actually true we are back in solidworks so let's go back to our motion study and set up our joint angles. So I went ahead and manipulate our motion study a bit. So here are the six joint angles. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So if I edit feature here, I inputted the 15 degrees angle and we will run the simulation for approximately 10 seconds okay so i went ahead and did this for all angles as you can see here so all all of the angles are set to 15 degrees now let's run our calculation and you can see that our robot is going into a position based on the joint angles that we've inputted. So now let's rotate our robot. Let's zoom in. 
rotate it a bit more and we are going to check this in position so let's go to evaluate here measure and let's click on the end effector point and here are our results okay so if we open MATLAB let's go back to MATLAB you can see our results here so let's compare both so let's put that one side and this is where SOLIDWORKS and we have SOLIDWORKS here so let's carry this a bit over so as you can see here let's take this a bit down and let's open back my lab okay so as you can see here we use our MATLAB program to calculate the end effector position based on our inputted angles of 15 degrees and we also use our motion study in SOLIDWORKS to confirm if this is true so you can see the X 23.6 the y 66.72 and the z is minus 802.6 so that's forward kinematics we know our angles but we don't know what is the in position so now let's go back to matlab and then we're going to demonstrate inverse kinematics which is a bit more interested Okay, the best way to demonstrate inverse kinematics using SOLIDWORKS and MATLAB, what we'll do, we'll create a point where we want to, to go to. So let's go back to the model and let's go to sketch and let's create a, a 3D sketch. Okay, and now that we are in our 3D sketch, let's use point and let's just drop point, a point anyway on screen. And let's input some coordinate for this so control vertex parameters let's use 1200 for the x okay let's use 30 for the y and let's use negative 180 for the z so we want our robot to get to this point we can exit the sketch now okay so we want our robot to get to this point so this is inverse kinematics. How can we get here? We don't know the angles, but we know this point. Now, let's go over to MATLAB. And in MATLAB, I've written this program that will generate for us the, the angles that we need to get to that point. So this is inverse kinematics in operation right here so this is the home position of the robot and this is the point that we want to get to okay x y and z let's run our program let's change the folder and here the program generated for us all the angles over a time period of 10 seconds here are the six angles so joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four, joint five, joint six. Okay, and it calculated for us all the angles over this time period of ten seconds. Now, within our MATLAB program, we use functions in MATLAB to output this file as an Excel spreadsheet. So let's navigate to that spreadsheet and discuss a little bit further. Let's open the main file. So this is the same file that you've seen here in MATLAB. So this, we outputted that as an Excel file. So this column is the, the time or time step. And these are our angles here. For each joint okay and this is our final angles so these are our final angles here at 10 seconds now we want to input this file into 
SOLIDWORKS. So within our MATLAB code, we've piece or extract each row and column for the required angles. So if we go to our main data and we let's open at least the first one. Okay. So this is all our angles for our first joint, our motor. Okay. And let's go over to SOLIDWORKS now. And we are going to go back to our motion study. And for each angle, we're going to input the required data. Let's input our data for each angle. So let's right click here, edit feature. We're going to change from distance to data points. And we are going to right click here. I had some data imported before, so I'm going to delete row and then I'm going to import data and let's import the data for our first angle. So combine first, that one, open, okay, and okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for each angle and then come right back. Now that I've inserted the data for each angle, let's run calculate. And as you can see, our robot is going to our known point. So that's inverse kinematics for us. We didn't know the angles, but we know where we want to get to. So therefore we use MATLAB, run our program, which generated all the angles for each joint over a time, a time period of 10 seconds. And we took those data and inserted them for each angle of our robot. And it took us to our end effector position that we needed. So that's forward kinematics, that's inverse kinematics, all using MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Bye for now.